Here's what else I, I learned, the skills of building an organization. Learn to work with the people who deserve it, not the people who need it. You must be like life itself. Respond to deserve, not to need. It doesn't say if you need, you will have a harvest. It doesn't say if you need a harvest, you'll have a harvest. It's not what it says. It says if you plant, chances are good you'll have a harvest. If you plant, you will reap. Not if you need, you will reap. So we must be like life itself. Respond to the people who deserve it by planting, by taking the first step. Even God himself says, if you move toward me, I'll move toward you. That's the condition. You move toward me, I'll move toward you, says the Almighty. Now, he could also say, you don't move, I don't move. You say, well, that's arbitrary. Well, when you're God, you can set it up that way. <laughs> now, learn to work with the people who deserve it, not the people who need it. Now, here's what's the next step. Teach people how to deserve your time. Teach people how to deserve your attention. Teach people how to deserve a phone call. Say, Mary, you just take this one step and I take two steps. You take two steps, I take five steps. You don't step, I don't step. But this isn't hard now. You step, I step. You respond, I respond. You try, I try. You make a call, I back you up. Right? Learn to teach people how to deserve your time and your attention. Next. I learn to work by group more than individual. Here's why. 80% of the people do 20% of the business. So 20% of the people you can work with individual, 80% you have to work with by group. But group is very powerful, less confrontational. Then here's what's important for all of you to learn as a sponsor, helping other people. You can help a thousand, but you can't carry three on your back. You can help a thousand, but you can't carry three on your back. And I'm sure all of you have already gotten that experience, even though you've been here a short time. Some people will try to get on your back. That's where we got that expression, get off. That's where we got that. A guy discovered somebody on his back and said, what? I can't carry you, get. Now... If you're like some I see here, you know, six foot four and you weigh 300 pounds, you might carry one, and if, if you were really big enough, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or something, you might carry two, but you can't carry three. When babies are born, they were not designed just to be carried. Babies were not born to be carried all their life. Someday you've got to try your legs. Someday you got to try your wings. Someday you got to try. Even if you fall down, you got to try because you can't just crawl around all your life. You can't be carried all your life. So as quickly as possible, you can help a thousand, but you can't carry three. Next, don't expect the pear tree to bear apples. I used to try to change everything. You can hang apples on a pear tree. I'm telling you, it won't help. You can put up a sign, this is an apple tree. Sure enough, come the season, pears. Here's what I learned. You cannot change people, but they can change themselves. You cannot change people, but they can change themselves. Capital in your business isn't what matters. Okay, it's not the money that buys you a future. It's your skills that buy you a future. Money and no skills, and I'm telling you, you're still poor. Money and no ambition, where are you? Money and no courage, you're broke. A little bit of money and a whole lot of courage, that's all we need. I'm looking for people when I'm recruiting back in those days, and the money didn't matter. What mattered to me was somebody's willingness, somebody's ingenuity, somebody's willingness to try, right? If they had a dollar to invest, that was plenty for me. A dollar and some ambition, and I can show you how to get rich, and it'll be one of the classic stories of the company. I go to recruit somebody, they say, I don't have any money. See, I've been looking for you for six months. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you how to do it without any money. Because here's the rules of capitalism. Jot this down. You can either buy and sell, or if you're in certain circumstances, you can sell and buy. If you've got ambition. Now, if you haven't got ambition, we can't cure that, and money won't cure lack of ambition. But if you've got a dollar and some ambition, I'll show you how to get rich. 
And even if you don't have a dollar, I'll show you how to get rich because you can sell and buy. Somebody says, as soon as the product arrives, I'll sell it. Then you don't understand. You don't understand the magic of fortune if you say, I have to wait till it gets here to sell it. And you probably don't understand the value of your own story. Once I understood that, I knew I was going to be wealthy. That's why right in the beginning I started giving big tips. I knew I was going to be wealthy. I say, wow, this guy tips like a rich man. I said, That's right, he tips like a rich man. <laughs> Even in the beginning, I tipped like a rich man because I knew I was going to be 